up guys, su compa Giovanni Welcome back to the Requintazo Podcast Donde hablo de consejos que me ayudan a mejorar como persona y negociante Alright, so esta vez I want to talk about like something about Gary Vee Because honestly I look up to that fool and he, like I've learned a lot from that fool But one of the things he promotes and one of the things I'm against After testing out different stuff Especially for small businesses is the way he he his advice on Facebook ads and if you see his videos um, he advises people small companies too to invest invest in Facebook ads and honestly I, I offer the same advice because that's what helped my company that's what's helping my company make sales basically because you need it like as a small business owner and as someone who doesn't have a huge following you need that traffic to your site to make sales but the way that he advises is like he's all about branding so basically he tells you to to make videos and promote those and and use your money to to reach more people with with those ads and um honestly the way he he advises it doesn't make sense for a small business owner because when I first started this brand, when I first started my company, Requintazo, I was a fucking broke college student with zero money. Like, I started this brand with only a thousand dollars, and honestly, like, as a broke college student, you don't have money to spend on ads. Like, I, I barely had enough money to buy a product. Like, I didn't have a lot of money. So I used to watch Gary Vee, and I mean when I first started this company I already had a small following because I used to do guitar tutorials and stuff so people followed me and they followed me to learn how to play Estilo Serreño so when I released my product it was aimed at that target market so it was I made sales my first month just be, just because of that free traffic so as soon as I started making sales I was like fuck it I, I went into this business with the mentality that I wasn't gonna make a profit for like I don't know how many years like 10 years so I came into that and once I started making money then I was like okay this goes straight to Facebook ads because that's what Gary Vee recommends and like I, I do respect his opinions and stuff so I, I I started using I started making vlogs and I started using Facebook ads to reach more people with those vlogs and it did help but the reason why I disagree with that advice is because I still wasn't making a lot of money at most I was making 2000 in sales every month so i didn't have enough money to spend to reach a whole bunch of people so if you analyze what gary v does he he had he's making millions so of course he has enough money to to use on brand and and reaching way more people than i could ever on a fucking broke college student's budget so i didn't reach that many people but i did continue to invest in facebook ads because i knew that was the future and again, if you analyze what Gary Vee does when he first started, when he was building his, his parents' company, he was he built that company on, on Google ads and email marketing. So he wasn't he didn't start off branding because he didn't have the money either. And as a small business owner, that's how you have to think. Like we work hard for our money, so we can't be fucking spending it, like wasting it on fucking ads that might not convert right away. At least that's my opinion, because that's how that's how I started and it did help to be honest. But I kept on testing and testing and I kept on learning more about Facebook ads and stuff and learning more about conversions. And I looked more into sales because I didn't have a lot of money so the little money that I was using on Facebook ads I had to I had to be making a profit to continue investing in Facebook ads to continue reaching more people so now my advice for small business owners so you won't have to go through what I went and like spend a whole bunch of money on on ads that that might not convert right away and help your business out right away is um, learn how to do conversion based advertising or uh, on Facebook because right now Facebook is fucking cheap if I tried to do the same tactics on on Google I wouldn't be making money because Google Google started off cheap and as soon as they started getting more people um, 
their prices went up so and facebook is gonna be the same so we have to take advantage right now that facebook is fucking cheap as fuck i get clicks for like fucking 15 cents a click 20 cents a click at most to my site and that makes it profitable and i'll get more into that later on because i know facebook is gonna go up in, in price so i have to test out different ways to 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 go against that because history repeats itself so as a small business owner what i'm doing right now my my ads i took off all those branding ads i still have one running at five dollars a day that's not a lot doesn't do anything to my business but the rest of my ads are mostly conversion ads so they're running at five dollars a day ten dollars a day in each ad if I, it's not profitable i'm i'm shutting it off because i have to make money and now i'm spending the same amount as i was before i'm spending about a thousand to two thousand dollars in ads a month and that's doing fucking ten thousand dollars in sales every month now so obviously that's a better deal i used to be spending the same amount and i would only be making like fucking three thousand four thousand five thousand at most so that's why i recommend as a small business owner fucking invest in those conversion ads because that's gonna get you that's gonna get you money back quick and you're gonna be able to use that money to to buy more ads and to reach more people and grow your company way more faster all right so that's my advice on the sidelines like you're gonna be reaching people you're gonna be gaining awareness for your ads so what I recommend um, like get to work start fucking making content for your social media pages for your website for your email list because once people buy they're gonna go on your list so what are you gonna send them every week that's why I started making these videos because that's free traffic like people who follow me they're gonna watch this video so I recommend while, while doing both branding and sales using your money to reach new people and making ads I mean making content to 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 um, to share with the people that are already following you or the new people that are starting to follow you so do both don't fucking be lazy do both all right now back to what i was saying about how ad costs are going to go up because it history proves history repeats itself so google google went up facebook is fucking cheap right now it's going to go up so i started researching more into fucking click funnels and making funnels and gaining the most getting the most money back from the ad that you're already spending and i'm not successful yet but i know i have to i have to look into this and i have to test now i have more money to test with ads because i'm making fucking 10 grand a month and i'm still not with that mentality that i have to make profit that's why i'm living in a fucking small little room and i have this used car because i don't I, I have to limit my expenses to be able to grow my company like now I have money to waste on ads and I could test more and I don't care if I lose that money but I know that that money is going to my education my real world education on Facebook ads and and gaining traffic to your website and making sales and growing your company so I'm not afraid to lose that money so right now what I'm testing is I'm building fucking funnels and I'm seeing if those funnels work and I haven't done a profit of profitable funnel yet but i know it's important because i'm i'll be sending traffic to these funnels and basically the point is breaking even on those funnels so you could spend more and more and more and more money knowing that you're gaining that money back right away and that's what i'm trying to test right now like i said i'm not successful yet i've built some funnels so far but i'm still testing it out and that's what i recommend you to do because once these ads once these costs go up then if these ads go up and I continue to do what I'm doing right now, my business is out of business because I won't have enough money to fucking spend or to cover those ad costs. So that's why I'm testing these out. So once those ad costs go up, my funnels are still profitable. I could keep on spending more and more money and I'll continue reaching more and more people. So that's what I recommend. Never, never settle, never settle. That's my advice for small business owners. It's what's helping me out. Hope it helps you out too. Please share this video and I'll see you guys in the next podcast.